situation is still a source of discontent in this country. Deputy Prime Minister Mutetro Metzing says he was neither consulted nor informed about the change of command in the army. But he says he's hopeful that when the Prime Minister returns to the country, this issue will be resolved. We will always see that as irregular. So, so far, I know that they come to be in charge of the Lesotho Defence Force. And I will be waiting uh, to meet uh, the Prime Minister. But I would like to appeal to our people that people may have views on these things. But let us avoid to inflame the situation. The three coalition leaders are expected to meet the king this week to brief him on the agreement to open parliament on the 19th of September. But before this happens, they have to agree on what changes, if any, need to be implemented to give this and other coalition governments stability. The roadmap has to revisit these issues, allow for gifts and take outside parliament, and then you open parliament to then legislate these issues into the constitution. Because some of them are so important that you need to have um, um, a more than simple majority to actually reform the constitution. Mahao says it is very likely that Prime Minister Tom Tawane will face a vote of no confidence when parliament does open. Yoli Sanjamela, SABC News, Maseru, Lisu.